everyone and welcome back to the Sims 3 101 Dalmatians Challenge and we are here at the farm looking at the little Radcliffe Dearly farm. Isn't it just the cutest thing? I love the seasons. I love the fact that autumn looks so nice here. We've got the fields behind the farm. We've got all the little dog houses. Oh, there's the puppies. Check that out. There's a bunch of our little puppies hanging out over here. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's so beautiful here and it is finally not a rainy day. Historically, it has been raining all of the time in our challenge, but thankfully everything is looking up not only is it not a rainy day and is that a puppy off there in the far distance it's a mushroom are you kidding me there's mushrooms and seeds over here i didn't even know that well we're definitely going to go and gather those up because i love collecting mushrooms that's so fun but Things are going really great here. So we just had our last litter of puppies recently. So now we've got a whole bunch of little puppies that need to age up. We've got Cody, Patch, Fidget, Thunder, Spotty, and Daisy. So and Daisy's so skittish and she's non-destructive. So she's tidy, but a little bit nervous. So she's really adorable. So we've got, let's see, that would be six itty bitty puppies. And then we still have two dogs, including Rolly who apparently is just hanging out still at the cat yard. I don't know, like, at the, he's just he's just having a good time here over at the cat park. So this is actually the cat park, kind of behind, like, where the, the little trailer houses are down in the city. And he was over here digging up dinosaur bones recently. So that was pretty cool. He wants to chew on a little chew toy. So we're probably going to send him home because he's off on a big adventure. Then we've also got Pepper, who is back at home, doing well, wants to play with mom, wants to socialize with Cody. <gasps> Pepper, look at you. So here's where all the puppies are. They're hanging out back here, playing with all the dog toys. And it's just a great day. The puppies are happy. The new puppies are doing well. Let's see. Let's go ahead and check on how the house is doing. And even the kids are doing well. It's a miracle. Having a nanny has really changed everything. So it's been awesome. And we have got our awesome little Terry. He is going to be aging up pretty soon. Yeah, two more days, then he's going to be aging up. But he's going to go off to play with a toy. And today is the day that Roger, now that life has started to calm down, the dogs are okay. We don't have any flea infestations, pretty sure. Double checking really quickly. Yes, no flea infestations. But Roger is going to continue his task of trying to make sure that the dogs can find good homes by contacting that alien. So if you guys remember, an alien dog lover came and visited the farm a long time ago and we decided we're going to try to adopt a whole bunch of dogs out to her so that's going to be really fun and if we also put the dogs up for adoption at do, do, do the consignment shop so if we go over here to the consignment store once upon a child we can actually put the dogs up for adoption and then later we see them around town because penny one of the dogs we adopted out has been visiting a lot is that her in fact that's her look there's Penny. Speaking of Penny, there she is. So this is our family. Our goal is to try to get to 101 Dalmatians. Where the heck's Anita? Anita, did I send you into town? Oh, that's right. Anita was coming over here to play with Perdita. I remember now. Oh my goodness. And she wants to have a child. Oh, it's all just so exciting. She also wants to improve her writing skill. Does she have her laptop with her? She does. I think I'm going to have her use her laptop here. Oh, there's even flowers. Oh, I'm going to have her pick the flowers first. It's just a beautiful day. It's just a beautiful day all around. We're going to pick the black eyes, Susan. Um, yep, we're going to let the little age manager catch up with us. Anita, look at what a gorgeous day this is. Oh, and she's looking good, looking young. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Anita, look at you. Look at you. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so pretty here. I love it. All right, so Anita's just having a very, oh my gosh, look at how happy she is. Oh, Anita, you're looking good. And so this is like two kids down and she wants to have five kids. Life's just going great for the Dearly and Radcliffe family now that things have kind of cooled off and we're not quite so stressed with the kids being unhappy and the dogs being unhappy. And let's go ahead and turn some of these things off. And I'm going to have her come over here. And she's just kind of out having a nice day to herself. No, I want you to... Can you not? Ah, okay. So let's have her put that away. I was, oh, well, she's really mad. I was hoping she could work on her writing skill, but I guess that's not something she can do here. Um, become friends with Jeanette, potty train her kid. I think we'll just send her home then. Play with Perdita. Perdita? How's Perdita doing on age? Perdita is doing pretty good on age. She probably has a couple more litters before we move on, but I'm really excited that we've gotten so many dogs. We're like 10th of the way there. So let's go ahead, Perdita. Let's just go ahead. Oh, let's actually, let's teach her some tricks. Let's teach her to sit up for a little while. So we're going to have her do that. And Roger 
is changing his daughter's dirty diaper. And I think he needs to focus on the very important task of contacting that alien because we are trying to have 101 Dalmatians and we need somewhere to send them. And we're going to send most of them to a space adoption program, which is just how you do it in the modern day and age. You live on a farm and you adopt your dogs out to aliens. That's just how it goes. All right. Does Meredith need anything else? A little bit of social? Okay, we'll give her a little snuggle. And we'll play with her. And maybe a little bit of a bottle. Put her in the crib. Then I want him to go ahead and go upstairs to take a quick shower. There we go. Then we'll have him shower. And then I'm going to have him contact that alien and invite her over. Because if we can invite her over. Because it's a nice Saturday. Dang it! Really? Really, Pongo, that is not what we want to show the alien to try to be like, yeah, you should come over and adopt some of our animals. What does he want to do? He wants to dig something up. So, and then he also wants to sniff Daisy. And he wants to play with another pet. So if you could c c come over here and why don't you go sniff on a collectible? Pee in an R yard. Really? Really, Pongo? I'm looking at you. All right, and Terry's doing pretty good. We're going to wake his nanny up so that she can get things moving and grooving so Roger can focus on trying to get the alien to come over to adopt some of the dogs. What an interesting life they live. All right. And if the nanny plays her cards right, she just might have some time to herself to work on her skills. Oh, she wants to... I love how she wants to be friends with the dogs, too. All right. Then we'll go ahead, eat leftovers, eat leftover waffles. Terry's still doing real good. He's happy. Ah, oh, look at this mess. All right, we'll take care of this. Anita is busy training Perdita. Good. The puppies are good. I hear the, the chickens yelling about. Are you guys fussing with the chickens? Oh, Pongo's just gotten to level nine. Woo! So Pongo's at level nine of his hunting skill. The higher we can get the skills on the parent dogs, the higher the, there's a chance that their puppies will have some of those skills, which is always exciting. And we don't know if the puppies, the newborns, know any of the tricks. But I believe Rolly who's still on his way home. Rolly's great expedition. That was awesome. Rolly probably knows the tricks we need to be able to adopt him out. And then we'll have to double check to make sure that Pepper knows a trick because the dogs have to know at least one trick. Tricks? Yeah. Pepper knows how to sit. So you have to know at least one trick before we're able to adopt him out. Look at the puppies playing. Be careful. Be oh yes, Bridgita knows how to sit up. Woo! Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, you guys can come on home now. Perdita, I think we might have Perdita. She's like happy because she was just brushed. Perdita, you go ahead, sniff out some collectibles. Anita, you go ahead and come on home. <gasps> and the alien is coming! The alien is coming! This is so exciting. Roger, why the heck do you want a tattoo? He's like, I'm living on the edge. I'm inviting aliens over. All right, we're going to have him come down here and try cleaning this up. The neighbors are getting new jobs. I love those notifications because it's just so fun to learn about them. All right, and then we're going to have him recycle this and hopefully get this area cleaned up. I wonder how she's going to come. Like, is she going to arrive in her little, her little, like, alien spaceship? Or is she just going to show up like normal? This will be very interesting. All right, Pepper, what are you doing? Oh, Pepper is just, like, hanging out with Penny. I kind of feel like I should just put Pepper up for adoption at the consignment store so that she can still be in town to hang out with Penny if she wants to be. Hmm. Oh, no. Is it going to rain? It's looking darker. It's looking like, oh, my gosh. There she is. There she is, you guys. Oh, she's visiting. This is so cool. Okay, so the alien is here. She's visiting, and we are going to be talking with her. Talk. Oh, the fog. There's fog that just came inside. Oh, that's so cool. So let's come over and greet her. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. All right, you hang on. Um, where's Terry? I want to make sure the baby's taken care of. Playing outside, we're gonna have the nanny like go ahead and put Terry in this crib. All right, put Terry in crib. And meanwhile, everyone else is just gonna have to take care of themselves while we try to focus on this alien issue going on. All right, and he wants to have a kid too. Geez, these Sims. All right, how are you doing? How are you doing? We're gonna work on our, our intergalactic dog adoptions. This is going to be pretty fun. So this is the alien that we are going to be working with to hopefully adopt the puppies. So we need to be friends with her. So let's see, special dog person, enthused about dogs. What relationship do we have to be at with her? Um, let's see. Talk about family, maybe? 
friendly. Hey, Anita. <laughs> it's just an alien lady. Don't panic. Anita. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Anita apparently had a soda like in her pockets. Oh, poor woman. Um, well, that's a little embarrassing. Now you have no food. Sorry about that. Why don't you go ahead? You go inside. Maybe we can serve like some alien quiz, like the aliens, some human cuisine. Um, serve brunch, maybe. Let's make some good old mac and cheese. If I was from outer space, I think some good old mac and cheese would definitely impress me. Oh, we're talking about the family. So cool. So if it comes to, hmm, invite inside, enthuse about music, ask about career. Um, Penny, is that you? Oh, it's Rolly. Rolly's like, hey, I just got home. And what's this? Rolly, it's potentially your new owner. So why don't you come over here and chew a chew toy for a little bit? Rolly, this is actually who we're hoping to adopt you out to. I just need to figure out how we can pull that off. So enthused about new house. I don't think, oh, you're unemployed. So I guess maybe she's like a trader. So let's see. So I wonder, where's the option? I hope that there is an option to talk about the fog, to adopt your dogs to somebody special, dog person. Uh, hang on, I'm going to check if there is really quickly because I really want to do this. Ah, fooey. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's actually a way to adopt pets directly to a sim, like a townie sim. So I'm like, ah, that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted her to end up with like all of our dogs. And there might still be a way to do that if we made her into like a character and then she adopted the dogs. So there's a chance we could do it that way. Or we might just have to probably do what I think we're going to have to do and just pretend that she's like adopting all of our dogs from us. <laughs> So that might just be what we do. We'll say we have to take the paperwork to the consignment store, unfortunately, but we will be adopting them intergalactically to this alien. And that means we're going to need a good relationship with her. So let's go ahead. Let's invite her inside so she can just come on in. Perdita has found something interesting. I forgot I sent P Perdita out to like do some, some hunting for things. I hope Pongo's having a good time. The dogs seem okay. Where's my nanny going? She's filling the food bowls. And then we'll go ahead and funny... Um, show internet cats video, maybe showing a little bit of like simlish human culture. So, ah, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I really, really wanted to like have her adopt the dogs. If you guys have an idea of how we could make that happen using cheats or not, then totally let me know. Uh, maybe we could figure out like how much money they would be worth at the consignment store and just like put them into, she doesn't look that impressed. Oh, there she goes. She actually does look that impressed. And there's about new house. We'll keep her busy while Anita's making dinner. But yeah, if you have an idea of how we could maybe make it work so that this alien could end up with all of the dogs, more or less, then please let me know because I think that would be really, really suiting, really fitting. All right, Roger, let's see. Can we do anything else? Can you, can you like not entertain her on your own? Um, form a band, ask about age. Just get to know, get to know her. Friendly. All right. And lunch is going to be served in just a second. Sweet. And then can we call to meal? Yes. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get something to eat. And everyone can sit and enjoy a little chat at the table. And let's go check on the nanny and see. Oh, she's playing in the leaves again. She really loves doing this. Bridget really seems to just love playing in the leaves. All right, well, let's find... There's Pepper and Perdita. Where is, like, Pongo? Pongo's over here. Oh, he's playing with Penny. I will admit it's really fun to see the dogs show up so that they can interact with, like, their family again. That is a pretty awesome part of it. All right, Bridget, let's see. We're going to have you... Oh, teach Perdita how to shake. Bridget, you're amazing. Where is Perdita? Perdita. All right, Pretty is coming home. Bridget is just fantastic. Do you see that? She's like, I'll help the dogs learn all their skills. Bridget, man, you're you're starting to get to the point where I want to like hire you full time. This is pretty amazing. All right, so let's have her come over though. Affection, feed, treat, uh, and get to know Pongo because she wants to be best friends with Pongo. Care, brush, play, tug of war, play, have fun. So she'll do that. You, sir, can come in and get some lunch to eat with your wife and your alien guest. 
Ah, I'm so disappointed. Oh, don't put those leftovers away. Go eat, eat, grab a bowl. I'm so disappointed that we can't have the alien just like directly adopt the dogs, but we will figure out a way to do that. We just need to be creative in how we're going to use our mods and how we are going to make that happen. Maybe we'll make her a playable character and she can just kind of be on a little hidden lot and we can just adopt the dogs into her household that way. Then she might show up in town more often and I'm okay with that. So what do you guys think about that? She's like, very nice house. Really enjoy your house. All right. Anita, you're kind of worn out. How's the baby? Baby's kind of lonely. Anita, come over. Snuggle and play with the baby for a little bit. And then why don't you go ahead and take a nap. So hopefully their relationship will just kind of like blossom a little bit. Form group, gossip, let's just chat. Hopefully they'll just spend some time chatting. And then that's Anita. Anita and Bridget look so similar. <laughs> It takes me a second sometimes to catch up with them. All right, there we go. Bridget, I think you like the puppies more than the babies, honestly. All right, how's Cherry doing? Oh, and he's still asleep. Sweet. And it's so much easier just with one extra adult helping to take care of everything. All right, is she becoming friends with... Oh, she's got a long way to go to be friends with the dogs. All right, tricks. Command to sit. Um, Play. Have fun. Maybe feed some more treats. Maybe just talk to him. She's she's an animal lover, so we're just going to leave her out here. Oh, and we'll have her take care of the chickens, too, because the chickens kind of need some TLC. All right, how is our... What are you doing over here, Roger? Did you just abandon your guest? Rude. Rude. Maybe he wants to show her the dogs, I guess. <laughs> Stop doing that. Ask to leave. Um, Jeez, I don't know what to tell her. Complain about dirty dishes. Um, Enthuse about new house. Talk about art, I guess. So I wish there's like some way they could play with the dogs together. That would be really interesting, but I guess not. All right, so I guess what we're just gonna have to do for now. Oh, let's see. Um, special. Well, enthuse about dogs one more time. We're starting to become pretty good friends with her, if you ask me. And then let's give her a gift. You know what? Let's let's try to make this happen with give gift and we probably don't need to give her we could give her an old pet bed let's give her a pet bed oh my goodness and we have a criminal flourishing in town but we'll give her like a pet bed because she's a dog lover it makes so much sense and then it can just be kind of our way of being like there now you're ready to like take on a new dog new member of the family everyone wants to teach perdita how to shake all of a sudden i guess i'm gonna have to make that like and he wants to snuggle terry oh my gosh that's adorable all right. And what do you think about our present? It's a dog bed. Slightly used. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, she was happy. Okay. Well, I think we're good here. So let's go ahead. We'll say goodbye. And I think I'm going to go ahead and Rolly and Pepper. I really want them in her family somehow. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh, dilemmas! Dilemmas! So, I think what we'll do... I may make her a... Yeah, I may make her a um, townie. Like, I'll move her in, move her out, turn her into an actual member, like, of the town, and we'll just pretend like she doesn't have a house. And then we'll have her adopt the dogs from us, perhaps? But I hate switching active households because then you lose all of their little whims. Uh, you know what? <sighs> Should we just put them all in the consignment store? Let's go ahead. We're going to visit the consignment store and just see what Rolly and Pepper are worth at the consignment store right now. Oh, I would miss them so much. I really love Rolly. I'm kind of tempted to keep Rolly. Not going to lie. I think I'm going to keep Rolly. <laughs> Because I really like him, but the thing is we can't start doing that. We have we have Literally like dozens more dogs. We need to start getting so maybe not Rolly even though I really love him I think that's secretly why he was one of the first two I didn't adopt out already because <laughs> I really like Rolly Oh watch Rolly now you're gonna pee right there, aren't you? Yep. All right. Maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I changed my mind puppy I don't know why they all love peeing on the front deck. I really have no idea so hmm yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, wow. There's like a fortune guesser going on in town now. We have got so much stuff going down. All right. Are we still playing with, with Pongo over here? We sure are. Man, it is like a lot of work to become a friend with some of these dogs. Friendly, asked to bring a newspaper, special. Oh, that's so cute. 
Um, I guess we're gonna le le leave him be for now. Pongo, are you still doing good? Ah, dang it. Uh, affection. Pets? Affection, sniff hand. Uh, care, already brushed. Find something, play. Oh, they can play fetch. Okay, we'll, we'll let her work on that. And then I think she can even, like, teach tricks. And we'll, let's go ahead and teach him to shake then. Because, hey, if she can teach him some tricks, why not? All right, Roger. He's playing alone. I can't believe he already got to the consignment store. That was really quick. He's playing alone. Oh, there's that lady, Maribel Cheek, who kind of lived, like, next to us. And so if we came over to sell our pet at the consignment store. Maribel. Maribel. Oh, my goodness. There are some, uh, some things going on in town. Apparently, Maribel, I feel like I need to kind of, like, have a conversation. I'm, I kind of want to, like, ask if, ask if single or something like that. Like, hello, Maribel. You seem to, is she taking pictures of, is she, like, taking a picture of us? Interesting. Oh, my goodness. She just changed into, like, a new maternity outfit right in front of us. Okay. All right. So if we were going to come over and sell our pet... Wow. So Pepper would be 500 and Rolly would be 725. So what I think we might do, I don't know why Perdita and Pongo are worth zero, but what I think we might do is, uh, you know what guys, we're going to go ahead and wait and we'll just kind of like put this money into their account and we will move Pepper and Rolly out and in with the alien. And we'll just have the alien kind of kicking around in town so that we can add more dogs into the family and the dogs can age naturally and occasionally even visit perhaps. So I don't know, maybe we'll make it so they can't visit because they would be going to outer space. So I'm going to have to think about this because this is a big twist I did not imagine for the 101 dogs challenge is setting up an intergalactic dog like adoption service. So this is going to be pretty interesting. But now we know. So 725 and 500. Good to know. While we're here, we might as well browse for what's for sale. Unless did she, did she seriously just like she closed on us. Look at her. Look at her glare. Look at her glare. Jeez, Maribel. Okay, we're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go home. So we've learned what these two are going to be worth. And so that lets us know what we need to do. And now I know what I need to do. I'm going to make sure the alien can adopt them. They're going to outer space. And the puppies are going to grow up in a couple days, just like Terry. Woo! So stuff's going to go down. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and if you guys... Oh, I almost said bye-bye. But I mean, if you guys have any ideas... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited about how we could potentially set it up so that the alien can adopt the dogs and we can just kind of keep the dogs out of the neighborhood that way. Well, you know what? I'm going to think about that. All right, enough of my babbling. I will see you guys next time for more adventures in our 101 Dalmatians Challenge. And until next time, everybody, bye-bye.